Hi, and thanks for giving me a little bit of your time. I want to talk a little bit about how the sum is greater than the parts and how that applies to Symmetry's products. Symmetry has about 50 different products, and so obviously it would take way too long to give you a lot of information about all of them. So I'm going to focus in, and we're going to talk about Genesis. First of all, this is our track team, our Technical Research and Advisory Committee. We're the folks that look over your products and make sure that they work for you. We have Dr. Frederick Vanini, who's a board-certified cardiologist and a thoracic surgeon. We have Dr. Deke Kendall, who's a family physician and a, a specialist in, in a number of different or, areas in oriental medicine. And, uh, of course, myself. We're the most visible faces of the track team. Uh, I work with a number of people behind the scenes in both both lab and research, as well as manufacturing to make sure that we always bring you the very best. The Symmetry headquarters is right here. Uh, we're in a little subdivision of San Jose called Milpitas, about an hour south of San Francisco. And this is our president and founder, Mr. Rudy Revac. He's the one that makes everything successful and run right. It's his ideas that bring you this tremendous company. I want to give you a little background on some things that uh, are asked frequently and some things that you're going to be seeing on our products. One is GMP, and this is something our products have always been GMP. But we're just recently starting to put this on the product because originally nobody knew what it was. Of course, GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practices. You also see CGMP, which means Current Good Manufacturing Practices. They're interchangeable. They mean the same thing. Um, there's a number of procedures that you have to adhere to in order to be certified GMP. Our products, again, have always been certified GMP. Uh, it, it's just recently people started to recognize it, and so we're putting that on our product. Uh, along with that, a frequently asked question, very frequently, not only in the United States, but around the world, people will ask, are your products FDA certified? And the answer to that is, there's no such thing. The FDA certifies drugs. These are food supplements. Food supplements are governed by a law called DSHEA. And DSHEA makes sure that all the ingredients have to be on the grass list. Grass means generally recognized as safe. However, we voluntarily manufacture all of our products according to FDA drug standards. Our lab is inspected and certified to manufacture drugs not only in the United States, but 35 countries around the world. And uh, here we have a couple shots of some things happening in the plant, maybe making some male balance or something. And you can see we have clean, clean room conditions, sealed rooms, white glove treatment. Here we have one of the pill manufacturers. It's completely enclosed in glass. Uh, the purity and the cleanliness are just really untouchable. Here we have a, a line maybe making some female balance, and you can see the, uh, the, the detail, uh, the equipment, the cleanliness that goes into this. This is a shot uh, of our manufacturing facility down in Orlando, Florida, where we make the liquids. And here we're, we're making some of the Genesis sample size bottles, labeling those, and we have some of the full size bottles up there as well. In order to, to get this certification, we have a number of written standard operating procedures. And one that kind of blew people away when they saw it down in Orlando was just the quality of water. Many times when somebody comes in to make a, a product, they just turn the tap on and whatever they have, that's, that's what they use water-wise. Our water comes in and it goes through a, a pretty elaborate filtration system. First of all, it goes through a water softener. After it goes through the water softener, it goes through a five-stage carbon filtration system. Once it goes through that, it goes through reverse osmosis. After it goes through reverse osmosis, it goes through an ultraviolet light treatment. After it's been through that, the water is flash pasteurized. Now, our product isn't flash pasteurized, which could denature some of the proteins, break some of the enzymes down, but the water is before we start to use it just to ensure the cleanliness of our starting block here. We also have something called better than organic. Many people will ask, are your products organic? And the real answer to that, for me at least, is uh, the term organic doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, first of all, there's some difference of opinion from the East Coast and the West Coast of the United States what that term should fully mean. You get outside the United States and it, it really is all over the board on, on, on what that might mean or could mean. 
But what we have found is that if something's organic, that means it's certified by the farm that they didn't use herbicides and pesticides. However, that does not protect against groundwater contamination, rainwater contamination, soil contamination, heavily handling contamination. I'm sure many of you are aware of some of the problems that have been in the news about you know, salmonella and E. coli and things from just handling. All of our material comes into us and it's tested by gas chromatography, high density chromatography, lipid chromatography. And we're looking for the presence of active ingredients, we're looking for herbicides, we're looking for pesticides, heavy metals, viruses, bacteria, and if we find any of those uh, uh, objectionable materials, we reject it. And so for me, that makes us better than organic because we're not just relying on somebody's word, we're actually testing everything for the presence of the herbicides and pesticides.